Our next guest is a recipe developer, cookbook author, and the creator of the hashtag four ingredient challenge on Instagram. Here to tell us why she started all of this and how it came about is food expert Devin Connell. Good to see you. Hi, Lindsay. Great to see you, it's too. So, and honestly, I'm so excited about what we're about to make. So maybe Good. walk us through a little bit about how the four ingredient challenge came to be. Okay, well, I'm a working mom. Mm -hmm. You're a working mom. I know everybody's trying to find a faster way to make their kids' dinner at night, totally. right? And so this is, the four ingredient challenge is sort of debunking the idea of like these 10 minute meals and 15 minute meals, which I think are so subjective because everybody cooks at different speeds. But for me, I always look at the length of a recipe, uh, mm -hmm. the ingredients on a recipe, four ingredients, I can do that And no that's problem. how you know. That's how I know that's I can do it. That's a good way to gauge. Yeah, so. Okay, so show us one of the options here. Okay, so this is one of my favorite ones. This can be a breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Mm -hmm. Our four ingredients here are spinach, eggs, cherry tomatoes, and prosciutto. It all sounds good to me. Right? Yeah, I like Can't go wrong things. with that. So yeah. what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually build these little nests out of prosciutto that we're gonna put our eggs in. So maybe you could help That's me. That's hilarious. So we're building do, nests Yes, eggs. we're gonna Perfect. do a beautiful little comfortable place for them to hang out. And that's where they're sort of gonna sit. Okay. And what I've done over there is I've pre-cracked the eggs into little ramekins, which is great. So you don't have to worry about shell. Perfect. No, it's supposed to be messy. Yes, I know. I like it. Oh, good because it's that's up my alley. It's rusted. I like it. Okay. So they're okay. make these little. They're like nests. little sort of divots. Love yeah. It. Oh, this one's this not is that great. Good. But you know what? Okay. We're gonna build the walls. There we go. I like that. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put our four eggs in here. And you know what? It's not about being perfect. It's about being, you know having fun creative. with it and creative and it's healthy and it's delicious. That one over with this one. I'm going to combine my nesting. Okay, okay, here. And I'll give you a look. A little reinforcement just a little right there. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I need some reinforcement on the bottom. Okay. Yes? Well, here we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's more. just going to go down. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh my this gosh. is why you're here because you're the expert. I'm just uh, learning. You're telling me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And then we okay. just scatter on a few cherry tomatoes so you around don't even the cut outside. These. Nope. 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 Like literally, how nope, fast is Lindsay. this? It's so fast. <laughs> so, and have you, um, have you, did you salt and pepper? Because I feel like I saw a little bit of salt we and pepper on the under. We do salt and pepper after. Oh, we do. If you could just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil over the top. This looks so good. Isn't that okay. so beautiful? So, so colorful, right? Yeah. And okay. what I love Is about this, it's great. That's okay. perfect. Little salt, little pepper. And I, I would serve this with a little bit of grilled sourdough bread on the side. Why so not? I'm just going to go stick this in the oven. And no cheese. You know what? You if could. you want to add a little sneaky fifth ingredient, I think um, <laughs> a grating of Parmesan cheese would be most welcome. Okay. Why not? And so then you'd put this in the oven for? This goes into the oven for about 12 minutes at 450. And look what you've got here, right? This is awesome. Isn't that and gorgeous? you know what? It looks really fun to eat for the, you know, we we're talking about kids too. It, I think they'd get into this. Totally is. And I think everybody gets their own little portion. There's no mm -hmm. fighting over who gets what. It's great. Would you like to try it? Yeah, or? for okay. sure. Okay. Thank you. And, so and you what? Just, yeah, you just show me. sort of dig in. And then what I like about this is that the spinach kind of wilts. And I like that. Yeah, I, I do. You know what's so weird about me, I, I've been told, is that I love day old salad. So like a Caesar salad or something, and it's so weird. This is perfect. I know, that's what I was saying. This is up my alley. Most people wouldn't have the salad the second day, but. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm Right? Like, so good. I'm gonna do that at home. And sure. the prosciutto adds like a nice saltiness. It's great. I like that. Okay. okay. So if we chew, take a look at this. This is what we're getting to next. <laughs> this is one of my favorite meals ever, ever to make. It's called salad pizza. And what I like about this is you buy store-bought pizza dough. Okay. Roll it out, brush it with a little olive oil, bake it at 450 for like 10, 12 minutes. Take it out. You can do this all in advance. And then you just put your toppings on after. You don't bake it again. We don't. All done. And so our four ingredients here are, are store-bought pizza dough. One. Acorn squash. Two. Burrata. Three. And arugula sprouts. Four. And just to get a little creative with mm -hmm. our acorn squash, we've actually taken the seeds out and roasted them. The same way you would with like a pumpkin one. Pumpkin. Halloween. Yeah, it's like an appy. Yeah. There's your appy. You've got a yeah. full meal. Okay, so how are we going to build Okay, this? so the first thing we're going to do, you can help me mm -hmm. layer so this these. This is acorn squash. This is acorn squash. And I'm we... not familiar with acorn squash. What's beautiful. It's, this, just like it's a... that guy right there. Oh, um, and oh you I just... am familiar. I just didn't know what it was called. <laughs> you cut it very thin, roast it um, with a little it. olive oil, salt, and pepper. And what I like about this is I don't even bother to take the skin off. Because nice. why bother? Why bother if you've roasted it too? And this is the kind of stuff, I mean, you could do this ahead of time, obviously. Absolutely. All this is room temp. 
Okay. So this is great. So next we can do, this is a beautiful piece of uh, burrata. It's and we're just, cheese. isn't it? Oh, like, I love it. If you don't like burrata, I don't know. I, I don't like I you, know. right? I know, I'm with you. <laughs> you are not my friend <laughs> if you're not burrata with me. So we can just spoon that on top and we can kind of layer the so arugula good. sprouts. You know, it's this just about being great. messy and rustic and just like, I'm not about precious food, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's gotta feel like you can kind of get in there and make a mess with it. Like, this is a oh, great one to so make pretty. with your kids. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this salad pizza idea is that it extends to so many different kinds of toppings. So yeah. you could do pear, blue yep. cheese with like a little frise. You could do cherry tomatoes with Parmesan that. cheese. No, you could I've gone even... a little bit rogue, sorry. No, I love it, I but love I, it. I wanted to paint a picture just, here. Yes, exactly, okay, love that. And we're gonna drizzle it with olive oil and top it with our seeds. Oh, that's so great. So healthy looking too. Right. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. These are great right. ideas. Four ingredient challenge. Yes. We can all do it. Yes. The less ingredients, the absolutely. faster it's gonna be, right? Absolutely. Devin, thank you so much for Thanks being here. For We're gonna have all this information on our website. You can go there anytime, yourmorning.ca.